What's good everybody, it's Rob back with another video. I'm here to give you my one week review or assessment of the Google Pixel 3a XL. Now overall this phone has been a really nice phone. I enjoy it and probably as of today it could be the best mid-tier to budget phone of the year. Uh, the price point is the part that kind of got me thrown whether you should call it a mid-tier phone or a budget phone coming in at i think it's three four seventy nine it, it kind of it kind of throws you off a little bit as far as from a price point of labeling this phone as a as a budget phone because it's priced so close to uh mid-tier phones that um it, it's kind of a tough thing to want to call this a budget phone but if you're getting a hundred dollars off gift card from either best buy i know amazon is offering a hundred dollars off if you purchase purchase the phone through them, you know you can probably get away with calling this a budget phone. But if you buy it without the hundred dollar gift card or a hundred dollar uh, discount, th then with taxes you're kind of pushing up to the mid tier level, depending on what part of the country or area you're from when it comes to purchasing this phone. Another thing that's kind of like a th uh, a drawback, and I think is the plastic backing, but I think. The problem with that was handling so many phones that are made from glass. You get used to dealing with glass phones. Once you get a plastic phone, it's a different feel, different weight to it. You know, from handling uh, phones made of glass and then getting this one that's plastic. Uh, the 670 uh, chip processor, I can understand why they put it in this phone due to the fact that you didn't want a budget phone or a mid-tier phone literally cannibalizing the, the much more expensive Pixel phones. So in that, for, so from that kind of thinking process, I understand why they did that. But uh, let's talk about some of the highlights of this phone. Uh, battery life is one. I've had excellent battery life with this phone over the time that I've been using it. And uh, it's been, um, giving me somewhere close to easily over five hours screen on time, but screen on time vary from user to user. So, you know, my five and a half, you know, almost six hours screen on time for me may not be the same for you. So keep that in mind. I don't do um, a lot of web browsing. I, I, I stream a lot. I was using this as my quote unquote work phone. And uh, I usually stream a lot of music, programming, podcasts, things of that nature. I'm not really looking at a lot of heavy YouTube videos. One thing though about the display, though, I do notice that I have to keep the brightness up pretty high to the panel itself. You really got to turn up the brightness to take advantage of it. And uh, if and I like to keep my brightness level somewhere in the middle. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is a plus, but I don't got to the point now where all I use is Bluetooth headphones and it kind of negate the fact that it, it did offer me a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. One of the cool features is when you're calling and you have that actual uh, Google Voice Assistant that can answer uh, telemarketers, that's been a major plus for uh, this phone, for me using. That's probably one of the highlights. I wish every phone could have that feature but um, this, that's a real clutch feature for me when it comes to uh, what I like about this phone. The cameras also is top notch. That's another thing that makes that, make the price a little bit more forgivable to a person who's buying this phone. I haven't tried any gaming on this phone due to the processor. I know it really is not a, a type of processor chipset that can handle games like PUBG and Fortnite and those type of games. So I'm not even gonna really waste my time trying to do that. There are some games that this phone can handle, but uh, for the most part, um, I wouldn't expect too much from this phone on the gaming aspect. Uh, just know that, you know, maybe it's Asphalt uh, 8 or 9. I think it's up to Asphalt 9. I think you can get away with playing that type of gaming. Uh, maybe some uh, Marvel uh, Universe games. You know, a lot of those type of games you can get away with. But for the most part, I wouldn't try to put too many games on here due to the fact that uh, this is this phone to me wouldn't would disappoint you from that point of trying to use it as a gaming phone. Fingerprint display is really quick and fast. 
and the way reliable. Again, I really don't see too many negatives other than probably the build material. Maybe the price could throw people uh, off a little bit. But for the most part, I have to really, I can, I can highly recommend this phone for those who's out there looking for a mid-level phone with some flagship features. So as of uh, the first week of owning this phone, I have to say I still am very enthusiastic about it and could still recommend that phone one week later. So again, that pretty much does it for my uh, one week with the uh, Pixel 3a XL. Please stay tuned for some more coverage. I will have some camera and video samples coming to you guys real soon. So I appreciate the patience. But uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in this wallpaper, it's called Forest Wallpaper. It can be found in the Google Play Store. I, I will leave a link to that because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about that. <laughs> but that's uh, one of my go-to wallpapers. Again, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll catch everybody in the next video. I'm out.